What's going on guys? So, turkey season started here in Nebraska and it became very apparent very quickly that my ground blind last year wasn't gonna cut it for bow hunting. So I went out and got me a new ground blind and I'm just gonna unbox it, we'll see what it looks like and uh, give you my reactions and all that good stuff on it. So starting out with, I went with the Muddy brand. This is the Ravage. Uh, it's supposed to be a quick set, sets up in seconds, 18 and a half pounds, which don't, it doesn't feel that heavy, but uh, yeah, let's crack it open and take a look at it. All right, so there it is all packed up. Pretty nice, that ain't bad. That ain't gonna be bad to carry on my back at all. So, comes in this nice bag. If I can undo her, here. Again, I did not look at the instructions on how to put this up, so we'll see. Shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think, though. That's the top right there. These you just want to... like so. And voila, there we are. There's the entrance. Wow, playing that pretty good. So... Let's see here, can I take these out? Yeah. Aha. Look at that, that's pretty nifty. That is pretty nifty right there. So all these, they're Velcro openings. And you just Velcro them back, see through them. That's pretty nice. So this wasn't, I mean this was in my price range, that's why I got it. I think it was like 150 bucks somewhere in there and uh, it's gonna work pretty good I think I mean it's not as durable as some of them sure but for shooting my bow out of and even my shotgun you know I can get go all the way back in here there's plenty of room I think it's gonna work really good it's not too heavy and it's actually got stuff if you want to brush it in too here so it not only will it work for turkeys work for deer too that's where that stuff comes in uh, yeah looks like a nice ground blind and we'll put her to the test hopefully this weekend this last weekend was a little windy so I didn't get out turkey hunting but uh, kind of getting cabin fever you know I want to get back out and redeem myself from my last turkey hunt but I think this will work this a lot more room like I said my last one it was I mean it probably came up to here and I just don't have room to shoot my bow out of it, shoot a shotgun easy out of it, but uh, this one's pretty nice. It has pockets on the inside, and uh, well, I guess here we'll just we'll give you a first-hand look. So here we go. Kind of go all the way around. I mean, it doesn't really change, but it's got loops on the bottom to hold your stakes. Got these to stabilize it in case you're hunting some pretty windy stuff. And like I said, you know, you got these solid ones that go in there and they bungee up. And you got these screens that just velcro like so and they velcro right back up. So that'll be pretty nifty. And we got pockets in here. Uh, no opening in the top. I know some of them will have an opening in the top, nothing there, but. I think this is gonna work pretty good. Pretty excited to get it out. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh, okay, now that's pretty. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. So that's pretty nifty. Right here on the outside, there's a pouch, and that's where your stakes go. They go right in there, so you don't have a separate pouch. It's actually part of the blind. So that's pretty cool, but yeah, I'd say so far I'm satisfied with this purchase and probably do a full review video over this sometime uh, you guys probably can look forward to 
seeing a couple turkeys being shot out of this here in the next couple weeks as soon as shotgun season opens hopefully one with a bow though too but that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave me a thumbs up always helps me out drop a comment let me know what your thoughts were guys have you ever hunted out of a muddy brand pop-up blind like this let me know down below let me know what your thoughts are especially if you've been using them for a couple years like i said it doesn't feel like it's the most durable i mean it's not it's not like cheaply made but you know there's other ones out there and there was some that were like four or five hundred dollars i just not in my price range and i wasn't gonna pay for that so i got got this one one of the cheaper ones out there so you know let me know what your guys' thoughts are if you have one or one that's similar and we will catch you out there see ya What's up, Matt's YouTube channel?